Hello, fellow hunters, and welcome back to Call of the Wild. We are continuing our adventures in Verhanga Savannah. Uh, we've gotten, I think, more than half of the map done. Our goal for this uh, for this entire series is just to work our way through each of the reserves one by one, unlocking all of the points of interest that are available, and uh, grabbing what animals we can along the way. Uh, our goal for this hunt is to make our way up to this lookout point over here, and uh, try to unlock as many of these things as we can. But one of the cool things that has been happening with this particular map is that the main storyline missions are pretty much kind of taking us on a grand tour of the area. So we're gonna go ahead and follow that as we go. I, I will set this as our first uh, discover, I'm sorry, right here. I'm gonna set this as our first goal for uh, trying to get around the map but uh, we're really going to be following these mission markers here. Our loadout for today is the Mulmer 7mm for our class 4 to 9 animals. I'm using the Ranger 243 as an overpower rifle for our class 2 to 3, so they drop quick. The Ra uh, Anderson 22 Defender Pistol for small game, uh, mostly just rabbits on this map. And then the Sunberg 454 Revolver for uh, self-defense against, you know, any animals that might want to become aggressive towards us. So we're going to, uh, the mission that we're doing right now uh, has been, uh, there were some poachers down here that killed a rhino, then they got all messed up. And then we were following the tracks of some kind of ghost jackal or something up here. So now we're trying to find some dude that was trying to track the ghost jackal. He's, I guess he's climbing up here and we need to follow his trail. So I'm not sure how far away this particular marker is, but uh, we'll walk off in that direction. Uh, I'm guessing these are going to be the footprints that we're looking for. Yeah. Baden's boot prints, great. At least he has proper footwear, and he seems to be capable of walking in a semi-straight line. Follow him. Okay, so yeah, we're going to follow these tracks, but as we go down the uh, little trail here, I want to take care of a couple of housekeeping announcements. Uh, as we continue to get closer to the end of opening up all of this, all of these maps, uh, I want you guys to uh, start taking a little bit more seriously, heading over to the Discord and placing your vote for which reserve we're going to go to next. The link for my Discord channel or Discord server is down below in the description. You can go over to the video uh, polls channel once you uh, hop into my Discord and leave a thumbs up on the reserve that you would like to see next. And then once we get to uh, the point where all of the all of the map has been unlocked and there's no more question marks that we can see on the map, we will close this particular chapter and head over to whatever you guys select next. So. Uh, be sure to head over to the Discord, place your vote down for that, and uh, so we can all uh, go where we want to go. I look, it look, it's looking right now like Emerald Coast is the leader. Uh, it has four votes at this point, so if you uh, if you want to see something else, you need to head over to the Discord and leave your leave your You're votes there. You're just about up to the weeping face. Tourists and film crews love this spot. I don't need to explain the name, do I? I mean, it's a face that looks like it is weeping. What else oh, yeah, would you it call it? That's kind of that's kind of creepy. <laughs> where's our next Where's our next marker? A little. Is it supposed to be over here in front of us? Mm, I'm not. Mm, oh, I think it's probably this right here. Yep, there's some stuff we need to look at over here. So base camp is in the middle of a puzzle, Mampara. Check it out. Uh, get out of the way, what dog. if he didn't leave this stuff here on purpose? What if he was being chased? Okay. Or at least Move. if he believed he Move was out of the way. He's standing right on the thing I need to hit. I know there's another one over here. I guess I'll just grab this then. That dog, man, sometimes he is super annoying. Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff here. It looks like he's Let's just hope writing some random stuff. Let's hope or passed out at the broken bridge up ahead and not splattered against the ground below. I posted warning signs all over that bridge to keep mamparas like Baden out. Yeah, it doesn't stop them from trying, though, does it? Be able to grab this? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need to get up there. So ideally, we just need to uh, follow of the trail course, up the and over. The sky is belching right when we're trying to save this mampara from himself. Hurry, grandchild, and be careful. Mind your step up there. Mind the ghost. He's talking about the weird-looking jackal that 
uh, the guy here has been seeing. But anyways, uh, we need to run quite a ways up here. Let's check out what this point of interest is first, and then we'll make our way up the zigzaggy trail to get up to the top there, because we were going. that's the way we're going anyway, so fortunately the missions are kind of taking us in that direction, which is extremely helpful. So it looks like this is actually going to be a point of interest, probably about the weeping face here. That is a really cool looking thing. Could you imagine if that existed in real life? <laughs> <laughs> These reserves are based on real locations, but obviously the things they put in here aren't necessarily going to actually be real things. The infamous Verhanga Weeping Face is a Tufa waterfall among the tallest in the world. How do I explain Tufa? It's a type of rock formation formed by mineral deposits left behind as water flows and the face weeps. The tears create the face in this case. We get quite a few tourists flocking to see this. All right, so... Uh, yeah, our next particular thing that we're going to is up there, so I don't really need to place a waypoint. Uh, I'm not going to make you watch me climb this ridiculous cl uh, cliff face. However, uh, as we get towards the top, I will probably bring you back at points along the way just so we can kind of see the progress and see what it looks like from up there. So, I'll be back in just a second. Hey, quickly! All right, well, you missed that part, but we are up here at the top of the first zigzag, and holy shnikes, it's tall. Look how high up we are. This is insane, and it's really windy up here. <laughs> All right, well, we're still climbing our way up. I'll bring you back when there's actually something interesting happening. All right, we're getting pretty close to this uh, mission marker over here, which I think is the bridge that we saw away from down there. As a matter of fact, why don't we uh, take a peek over the edge? Hopefully, don't put don't, I don't want to fall off. <laughs> no, 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 no. And I'm, you know what? I'm paranoid that the dog's going to push me over the edge. But uh, yeah, this is what it looks like from up here. <laughs> Yikes, it's it's really high. I have like a... I, it's, it's funny, I don't mind flying, but standing at the edge of cliffs gives me really bad vertigo. Cool. Okay. You found the broken bridge. What about Baden? I guess it's... I guess there's something over there hanging off the edge. What do you see? That... That looks like a bit of the jacket Baden wore. You need to collect it so we can confirm. Be careful. You're no Mampara, but gravity will pull you down same as anyone else. Careful, grandchild. Okay. Grandchild, hello. What happened? Well, that was a little grandchild. bit unreasonable. <laughs> little brother, get a drone out there and find your sibling. I don't care about the weather. Grandchild, listen to me. We're going to find you. You will be okay. You have to be okay. Please, ancestors, protect your grandchild. The noy hunter who came home to honor you. Grandchild, Jeez. if you can hear this, I'm sorry for everything. This ghost jackal, that bridge, it's all my fault. I failed you. Grandchild, you're moving again. If you can hear me, you're close to a cave. That cave is where the jackals kept their den. I don't know what the ghost jackal wants from you, but I tell you this. A hunter with a pure heart like yours should not fear the dead. You will be protected by your integrity, guarded by your ancestors, even as you journey into darkness. I have to say that I love this storyline. I really like. I don't. I haven't. I don't know what uh, what other main storylines are going to be, but I really hope that they have similar things to like this. Because a hunter with yeah. a pure heart like yours should not fear the dead. You will be protected by your integrity, guarded by your ancestors, even as you journey into darkness. Yeah, that disappeared, so it was clearly some kind of ghosty thing. This is a lot of... I'm sorry, this is a lot of fun. This is just... I don't know. I know we're not getting points of interest and stuff unlocked, but the story here is just pretty good. It's pretty, pretty good. I don't want to cut because I feel like he's going to keep talking randomly. So I know we normally would like try to get try to cut between things, but I don't know when things are going to pop up. So I don't know. Yeah, I think I think I'll go ahead and cut here for just a second until hopefully something happens. 
All right, well, we're coming out into this cool cave area here. I know that's not necessarily an eventful thing, but it is cool, kind of cool looking. Is there anything we can actually shoot in here? Or is this just a cool grotto area? That's cool. And we got to walk up over this, like, rock bridge over there. <laughs> okay, well, we gotta run up over this bridge. I'm not sure how far away that mission marker is. I'm gonna try to shoot one. Yeah, they're invalid targets, so we can't shoot them. That's kind of interesting. You just gotta follow them up here. We're going on some kind of spiritual journey on this one. Very cool, though. Just need the dog to not, like, nudge me over the edge. He has a bad habit of going into the, the wrong space at the wrong time. All right, so we'll climb up this and uh, hopefully find out what's going on here. I think we may be coming close to uh, whatever it is we're supposed to be doing up here. It's a lot of twists and turns, and it's taking a long time to run through this, so be glad you're not having to do it yourself. This is taking a long time. Was that? Is that your sibling signal? Grandchild, is that you? Okay. So we're exiting the cave now. The For reference, we're up here. I was right. You really are a hunter with noy blood. Okay. So what's next? Now you believe me. You know the ghost jackal is real because you've seen it. And you have an opportunity to help me make things right. There is a tree that only appears in the moonlight. Find it. That's where you must bury the jackal's skull. And offer praise and respect to the dead on behalf of your grandfather. Oh, I guess this is the tree. <laughs> Or at least it said it was here for a second. Oh, okay. Yeah, here we go. Oh. Okay. We're getting some kind of weird cutscene. Awesome. Ah, uh, morning time. It's my favorite. Well, one disappear. of my favorite times. They live on through us. The dead are always watching us. So we always have a chance to be redeemed in their eyes. Well, very interesting. Thank you, grandchild. It's a new day, grandchild, for both of us. While your brother thinks a medic should check you for signs of mushroom poisoning, I think you have finally lifted the curse on the hunger. I carried this with like a boulder on my heart for decades. Now, it's gone. I feel five years younger. No, ten years. Oh, okay. I, I want to go after this thing here, but I want to wait until the mission is completely complete and I don't have to worry about having to figure out my way back up here because I'm not I called you here so I could retire, and there's no taking that back. Obviously, the job is yours. So, congratulations, Senior Warden. Now <laughs> you get to deal with your brother and his hootubers and his spiritual skepticism. Congratulations. Okay. And do you know what else you get as senior warden? Can you more guess? More work. It's more work. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't do it alone. That's why I've called in a specialist and a team to handle that task. Veteran wilderness guide, Dr. Dana Maritz. Dr. Dana is an acquired taste. To her, there's a wrong way, and then there's her way. 
now that you are senior warden, I guarantee she's going to test you to find out which way you do things. She can be overly authoritative, expensive. but if you pay attention, Dr. Dana will teach you some things. She's not always right, but she's the real deal when it comes to hunting and skill shooting. That's why weapons manufacturers put her on the payroll to sell their products. Now, don't let Dr. Dana occupy all of your time. You have official warden's work to do there in Vopaladiamba. The Mfundla, the scrub hair population, is out of control and it's starting to affect the living jackals that call this plateau home. Your work in this region will focus on restoring balance by applying different pressures to the animals. In addition, you still have exploring to do in Walunga, the Northern Reserve. Mm -hmm. Plenty of work to do up there. The river up in Walunga is predator-free, making it a safe haven for keep buffalo. A dangerously large herd has congregated I know this is there. taking a while, but it's a good bunch of story. It. I'm not sure where it's going. And that will be tricky. Take the time to prepare before you tackle that one. Now, even though I am officially retiring and you are officially the senior warden who runs Varonga Savannah, I'm not going to leave my radio post. For as long as you'll have me, it will be my pleasure to continue to offer you guidance whenever I can. That's the least I can do for you after what you have done for me. Now, when I die, the ancestors will receive me with pride, despite the mistakes I've made, all because my grandchildren have made our family so proud. Yes, even your brother. He knows I'm proud of him, too. Next week, I will take both of you to hmm. the cemetery. We'll bring my home brew. We'll sing songs and share memories with our ancestors. We'll celebrate the new senior warden. Because the dead are always watching us in our sorrows. And today, in our joys. Howie! 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 Okay, grandchild. He likes to talk a lot. Yes, I know I should address you as the senior warden, but you'll always be grandchild to me, okay? Now, enough babbling from old Njabolo. You're in charge. What you do next is up to you. Okay, well, I have to imagine that ends the official storyline. Yo, Peanut, good times having you back. We have to spot scrub hairs. Uh, okay, not really sure. Anyways, uh, we're going to head over and grab this lookout point, and then we'll kind of decide what we need to do next. Uh, the rest of finishing up, finishing up this Ghost of Rahunga storyline actually took up quite a bit of stuff, but hey, you know. Let's see. Stealth approach to spot a cave buffalo. Travel to lookout point marked on your hunter mate. Well, we got to go up that way anyway, so we're going to grab this lookout point, and then we'll look around and see what other points of interest we want to grab while we're up here. And then, uh, yeah. Not really quite... I mean, I think we're done doing missions at this point, unless we just happen to complete some along the way. I just... I really got into the storyline for that one, because it was just a really, really, really good one. I mean, I wasn't expecting reports that. reports on scrub hairs and side strap jackals in Vupula de Amber are concerning. The plateau is inaccessible to larger animals, so smaller species like hare and jackal have always flourished there. But okay. both populations are outgrowing the balance of the environment. The hares reproduce so quickly they've, uh, what's the word, saturated the jackals who can't eat them quickly enough. Without more aggressive predators to cull them, soon those hares will overpopulate the region. For their part, the lucky jackals are glutting themselves on easily accessible hare meat. That makes them slow, lazy, and more prone to threats from other predators who might enter the territory. 
Not to mention they could die out if the land can't sustain the hares. So between motivating lazy jackals and pressuring happy scrub hares, you've got work to do. Alright. We're gonna go ahead and cut until we either find something cool to shoot find something cool to shoot at, or we get to the outpost over there. I'm pretty sure that whatever that wherever that hair went, I'm not gonna get a chance at him. Oh no, whoop. Okay, I got him. Problem is, shooting these from the front, I almost never get like a lung shot or anything. Ah, I'm not gonna worry about them. All right, let's grab this hair. We'll head over to the outpost over here, unlock that, and then ideally we'll have enough time to grab the rest of the remaining um, remaining points of interest out here. So um, I'm gonna cut now. We've been on this long enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, we're approaching the outpost here, and I think we're going to go ahead and call it here, because uh, for the next episode, for the next hunt that we go on, we can just kind of zigzag our way up here to this outpost, and then find or this uh, lookout point, and find whatever outpost is up here. And then, uh, yeah, after that, we just got to make our way over in this direction and we'll be all set for the we'll be all set for Verhanga. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys had lots of fun. Be sure to click that like button if you did so the YouTube algorithm knows and sends the video out to more viewers. The more people we can get along for these hunts, the more we'll all feel like a big, happy community. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your video feed and you will be able to see the videos uh, immediately upon them becoming available. And speaking of that, channel members do get the added perk of getting early access to my videos as soon as they are uploaded along with a few other perks so be sure to uh, click on that join button so you can see what will become available to you should you decide to support the channel so again thank you very much for your time be sure to come back for the next one and i'll see you then